and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video I'm actually back in my room and that is because I've completed it now. If you haven't checked out my decorating part two vlog then make sure you do so before continuing with this video and you will kind of see the process that I went to to achieve this. Um, I am also at a different angle um, filming in my room today. I normally film on my chest of drawers um, which is kind of like at the end of my bed but the lighting isn't very good, um, so I've decided to face my window. I've got a huge window in my room, and it's a beautiful day, so why not utilise the natural light? Um, today's video, I don't know if you can see just down here, I have a Amazon parcel today, um, and I haven't yet opened it whatsoever. Um, although it's been very, very tempting. I got it delivered yesterday and I actually have done a technology order on Amazon. I bought my new camera um, and all the kind of like accessories to go with it. I am still waiting on one thing to be delivered, um, but I'm gonna insert that clip once it turns up later in the video. Um, so you'll still get to see that. So it's gonna be a technology Amazon haul today i'm still waiting on my tripod um which is what's um the last thing to be delivered out of my order so i am currently using um one of my plant pots to prop up my phone to film this um i've had to utilize quite a few ways since i broke my tripod the other day um it's been quite an experience but let's jump right into the video because i'm so excited to open this Okay, so it might be a bit noisy um, as I open this. I feel like I'm gonna need scissors. I'm glad I keep some up here. Um, so yeah, you'll have to bear with me because I'm really not the best at opening parcels. Okay, so I've literally just opened the box and this is what it is. We'll get rid of all the packaging. The first thing that I got was this. I'm really hoping it's not gonna reflect. Oh. I should really learn. There we go. Okay, so the first item that I actually got was an Extreme Pro SanDisk memory card. Now, I am not a technology person whatsoever so i really had to ask the advice of sam he's got like a proper camera um he's got a dslr camera i want to say um so i really don't know about these sorts of things whatsoever so he basically guided me through the whole thing so this is just the extreme pro um sdxc uhs1 card um so it's just 64 gigs. It says it's um, the speed is like 175 megabits per second, um, which apparently is quick. Um, I probably shouldn't be trying to talk about technology that I don't understand. So this was £16.75. Um, I found that Amazon was kind of like the cheapest place to get everything. Um, I was going to get the 128 gigabyte um, memory card, obviously for more storage for videos um but that was like 45 pounds so i stuck with this because two of these is still cheaper than buying one 128 gig memory card so that is item number one um really not a technology person so i then also got a sandisk um extreme pro usb -C. okay um so I'm meeting Matt later and he actually just rung me so sorry if like the angles change or whatever um you know perks of filming on your phone um so as I was saying I got this um it's just a memory card reader to go into my Mac um that matches this it's also SanDisk it's also Extreme Pro um yeah I don't I didn't know how to get stuff off of here 
beforehand and then Sam suggested a card reader and I was just going to get like a USB one um, because I do actually have a USB to USB C um, like converter for my Mac um, so I got this I can't remember how much it was I think it was like 17 pounds yeah, we're going to go with this as £17. I can't quite remember. I'm not very well informed to be filming this video, but I did want to show you um, what these look like. Okay, so the next item that I got is this. It is just a camera bag. Um, I was umming and ahhing on what kind of camera bag to get. It's very rattling with all the zips. Um, this is just for Soto. I don't really know how to say it, so it's F-O-S-O-T-O. So I'm going to say it's for Soto. Um, this was £16, £17 pounds again. Um, and it's very basic. Um, it has like a carrying strap like handle on the back. So you can literally just pick it up like this. Um, it is like padded and like mesh on the back. Um, and then it's got two... Oh, it's got two little handles on the side like this and that is because if I open it so it just opens from the back down to the front and it is actually like bright orange inside which I do actually think is really cool um it's very well padded which is actually a really good thing for a camera case um and then you've just got your strap it is adjustable as well um bright orange it in the like kind of like lid bit it has room for my SD cards or maybe even an extra battery once I purchase one. Um, it also has a front pocket. Um, again, the front pocket's padded. So I'm just going to put like my battery chargers in there and probably my um, memory card reader. I've got to get used to all this new terminology. It's really hard. Um, so yeah, this is actually not too bad. Um, it is quite bulky, um, but I wanted one that was like this kind of style. Um, so you can just hear all the zips rattling. I feel like that's gonna really get on my nerves when traveling. Um, and then last but not least, I've got my camera and that's just completely changed my lighting. Okay, the lighting's so temperamental. Um, you will just have to bear with me. So this is the camera I got. It is a Canon camera and it's a PowerShot um, SX740 um, HS. I don't know what all that means. So um, I'm sorry if you are a technology person and I'm not doing this video justice. Um, but I basically wanted a compact camera. It comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So I don't technically need this because I think I can just send videos and footage straight off of my camera onto my laptop um do not quote me because I'm not sure at all um this is like the first camera I've owned since a child um I got um a camera when I was like eight um and it was literally just like a really basic um digital camera um the sun is actually reflecting really badly off this box because it is so sunny today um so yeah god it comes with like such a thick i don't even know what that is i'm guessing the instruction booklet um getting started Okay, so it might take me a while to set it up <laughs> with that. Um, or I could just press the on button and hope for the best. Let me just pop that box down. This is the actual camera. Oh my God, it's so good. So it just looks like this. I really don't know how to use it. Um, it does, however, have a flip up screen. This was an essential for me when looking for a camera because I'm so used to filming on my phone. I use my front camera so I can see what the shot looks like, so I can see what you see um, when you're watching these videos. Um, so the only thing is 
is if I'm filming without my tripod, because that hasn't turned up yet, I do have to do it left-handed because of where the grip is, but if you're just taking like normal photos, I'm gonna put the screen down, really should have got some screen protectors because that is gonna get dirty very quickly. So there's a flash that extends out of here, but I don't actually know, aha, there we go. So Sam warned me not to break this. Um, I'm gonna try not to. It's literally just this button on the side um, and all that mechanism's so satisfying. Um, so you just kind of like, um, kind of like on your phone, the like silent button if you've got an iPhone. I don't know whether it's the same for Androids. I don't own one. Um, you kind of just flick that and then the flash bit flicks up. Um, I think it looks so cool. I don't know really what the specifications are for this camera all it says on the front is that it has a 40 times optical zoom i have not got a clue what that means um <laughs> i'm really not technological at all um it's a very very nice camera to hold if that means anything it also comes in silver with like brown um like grip bits here i don't know how well you can see that um and then on the back as well here it's like actual grip bits so when i'm holding it like this it's where your hand naturally goes here and naturally goes on the back um very very nice very very slick um it, it's matte black i absolutely love it um this cost 345 pounds i was looking at the model down which was the um sx730 um but for the extra i think it was like 60 to 80 pounds can't quite remember um i thought i'd go for the model up because just spending that little bit more money um kind of means that the camera should last a bit longer and it kind of runs a bit better because it's newer and it's a better model um very very excited to use this oh my god like i never get like this over technology um except maybe a new phone that's about it but like a camera not my thing um, my first impressions of everything in this video so far i absolutely love everything um i'm not quite used to everything yet if you can't tell um however i am loving it all um very very excited to use everything um kind of get used to everything as well um it was a fairly expensive order but i decided just to go for it i spoke about kind of getting a new camera in my getting to know me q a video where i spoke about what i'd do if i won the lottery i have not won the lottery um trust me i wish i had um but if you haven't checked that video out make sure you go check it out because you find out a little bit more about me through a q a sort of style video um other than the fact that i'm not very good with technology okay so this is now being filmed on my camera i thought i would insert this clip so you could kind of see the difference and the quality of the camera um first impressions is i'm not used to it whatsoever um i'm really tempted to keep i'm doing it right now just so you can see what the angle looks like um i'm currently not looking at the lens i'm looking at the screen above because i flipped it up um just so you can see what that looks like um it's going to be so hard to train myself just to look down the lens rather than at the screen because I'm so used to doing that on my phone. Um, I'm still not used to the colouring and everything like that. Um, I did take a few photos and I will tell you what, the camera quality for the photos and the zoom and the detail that the photos are taken in is amazing. Um, really, really impressed with it. Um, I haven't actually used it. In actual fact, this is the first time me filming in it. Basically, the reason I haven't filmed on my camera yet is because the tripod disaster. Um, so basically, I broke my tripod, the original one that I bought just for my phone. Um, so I needed a new tripod and that kind of kickstarted the whole Amazon order 
that I did to include my camera as well um, and everything like that. Um, I did snap that tripod, hence the order. Um, the order that I did, there was two lots. Um, everything that you saw that I opened in the box was one lot and then the second lot was in fact a new tripod. That was meant to be delivered the next day after I'd filmed that video. Um, I then got an update from Amazon that it had actually been damaged in the whole sort of like dispatching delivering process. It was actually originally from Italy, um, which I didn't realise when I ordered it, I probably wouldn't have done if I'd have realised it was from Italy. Um, I am actually yet to order a new tripod. Um, kind of reluctant to order a new one. Um, I haven't got my money back for the other one yet that got damaged in sort of transit. Um, and I don't really know what kind of tripod I'm going for. I just kind of went for the one that was recommended with the camera that people frequently bought with this camera and the SD card. There was also a tripod. It was a Joby tripod. Um, it looked great. It was just annoying that it got obviously damaged. Um, still waiting for a refund, so I do need to order a new tripod. But overall with the camera and everything else from the delivery that I did get, um, I'm very, very much impressed. So I hope you can see the difference and I hope it's a lot better quality and there's a lot more, um, it's a lot clearer and everything like that. So yeah, back to the main video. Okay, so another update. Um, it's actually like two or three hours later from me filming the clip that you would have just seen. Yet another tripod update. Jess, you are an absolute ruddy legend. Um, I phoned her up in a bit of a tiz was and a bit of a panic about the sound quality of my camera um, and the colouring of it. Um, she does photography as her profession um, and studied it at college and everything like that. So she was the person to go to for my dilemmas. So she actually had an old tripod of hers that doesn't um, hold the weight of her current camera. So therefore she was just getting rid of it. It was in the box ready to like be disposed of or to actually go to charity. Um, so it is just this, um, it's a Joby Gorilla Grip um, tripod. She even gave me the phone contraption to go on top as well. Um, you do not understand how many videos you've just saved, Jess. Um, so thank you so much for this. Um, really appreciated it. And I've actually just come back from the walk with her. So she dropped off uh, the tripod on my doorstep. Um, and then I took it inside. And then we actually went on a cute little walk down the seafront. We grabbed an ice cream. Um, it was very unexpected, very, very nice though. We had an absolute laugh. Um, we did a little bit of a photo shoot as well, just completely mucking about and, and having a laugh and being goofballs. If you want to check that out and kind of what um, the photos look like and everything like that, then go check out my recent Instagram post. My Instagram is linked to my channel. Um, yeah, we had a laugh. Um, and it was a lot of fun. So I now have a tripod. Um, Sam told me not to break this one. Um, it just clicks into place all on little grips like this. I've never used one of these tripods. Um, but it's fairly similar to the one that I did break. Um, just got to be careful with it. I feel like it's more sturdy than the other one that I did have though. So very excited to... Um, to use this and it actually means that my third installment of my weekly workout video can be filmed with my camera on a tripod. Very, very exciting. So that is the update that I have for you all and now let's go back to the main video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was a very expensive one but a very much needed one. Um, so make sure you give it a like um, and don't forget to subscribe if you really enjoyed this video because I've actually had a lot of fun um, opening everything. Um, so yeah, keep well, keep safe um, and I will see you all again very very soon with my new video when I film on my camera. Bye!